Okay, so today we're going to very quickly go over the uh, Lesson 7-1 section in the Savas and Vision Math 2.0 Volume 1 book. It's toward the end. We're almost in the new book, workbook now. And this one covers picture graphs and bar graphs. Now, I think some of you all have worked with these before, and uh, and I've noticed uh, some familiarity there, so I feel like this is going to be relatively easy to pick up, but I do want to go over some important information and at least get through the guided practice and independent practice sections here uh, to prepare you for the homework and practice as well. So um, let's take a look at uh, our example up here. Now, uh, again, just to, to, uh, to preface this, just to mention, I do want you all to make sure you are watching the visual learning videos from the Savas website. I post them in Google Classroom, but you can find them on the Savas website. And uh, and the pages that come right before this are really important to watch or to uh, look at along with watching that video, okay? It helps with, uh, with understanding it a little bit more. Now, uh, I always tell you guys to underline or highlight or circle the important information when you're reading through the instructions. And it's also very important to read through the instructions carefully. In this case, they already highlighted it, but I'm going to go ahead and underline it anyway. The scaled bar graph. Now, I didn't do that well, but let's pretend I did. The scaled bar graph uses bars to represent, which means to show and compare information. So you can look at the differences between different types of uh, information, or in this case, what we might call data. Okay, so this one, this is a scaled bar graph, it means there's a scale on the side, which in this case would be the number of goals. Okay, we are skip counting by four, zero, four, eight, 12, 16, and 20, but there are lines in between, which really means that every one of these unit grid, these uh, grid lines here, represents two units. So right here would be a two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20, okay? So on this bar graph, uh, we are going to look at the uh, different players here. I'm going to try to answer the questions down here. How many goals in all, now look at the wording. How many goals in all did Alex and Reggie score? Now the, the clue there is that we're looking at the words in all, which means they want to sum. They want us to add up Alex's and Reggie's scores. Well, Alex, if you look up here, had 18 goals, okay? 18, so we're gonna do 18 plus. Reggie, if you look over here, look over at this side right here, had 16, okay? So 18 plus 16 is 34. So if you were to write this in a complete sentence, which is what I would like to see, you would say, Alex, and Reggie, now I'm sure your handwriting's a little better than mine, scored 34 goals in all. Okay, now over here it says explain how to find how many more goals Alex scored than Cindy. The hints here are that we are going to be looking for subtraction. We're going to be using subtraction to get our answer here. Okay, you see this by the clues in the wording. So let's look at Alex again. How many more goals Alex scored than Cindy? So Alex, again, we we already know this. We, we already wrote this down earlier. He had 18. Cindy, however, scored 14. So we're gonna do 18 minus 14. Eight minus four is four. One minus one is zero. So our answer here is four. So we would say Alex scored four more goals than Cindy. Okay, now let's take a look at our independent practice section down here. We've got a whole different grid, and this would be a picture graph, a picture graph, okay? So in this case, in this case, uh, we're not looking at bars, but you're going to notice that they look very similar to the bar graph, right? Except that this time we've got a little key down at the bottom that shows us what each one of these symbols means, okay? So a full bulb means 10 hours. A half bulb means 5 hours. So you can see the differences here, okay? So let's take a quick look here. 
We've got, so we again, we know that the full bold means 10. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and a half, which means this one is 75. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 for the locker room. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and a half. 55 for the swimming pool. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 for the tennis court. Okay. So which area has lights on for the most hours each day? Well, that would be the locker room, right? Because that one had 90 hours, 90 hours. Which area has lights on for exactly 50 hours each week? The only one that meets that criteria that matches that one is the tennis court, right? And then in one week, how many more hours are on in the exercise room than in the swimming pool? Look at the hints, more than. That means we are looking at subtraction, right? So if we have the exercise room, we know the exercise room is 75. We're going to say, okay, so we've got 75 for the exercise room. The swimming pool has 55. So we're going to subtract those. 5 minus 5 is 0. 7 minus 5 is 2. So now we have, uh, in one week, the exercise room uses 20 more hours of light. The lights on for are on for 20 more hours. Then this one will our answer here is 20. Okay. So just keep in mind when you're looking at these, they're important things that you need to look at first. Okay. One of the most important things when you look at a picture graph is look at the key. Make sure you know exactly what each one of the symbols stands for. Okay. That's going to be very important. And then when you can figure them out, figure it out beforehand, because that's going to make your life a lot easier when you come over to answer the questions. Now with the bar graph, that the information looks a little bit different, right? Figure out what the scale looks like. What are we counting by? What does each line, each grid line on the scale represent? That's going to help you answer the questions, okay? Now, if you have any other questions or you need any help on this material, just let me know if you have any requests. And other than that, I will leave you to it, and I will see you next time.